Hey guys, it's Andrea and I went to Twitter and I asked you guys if I should do a video of my experience with Skate and Jack and Jack and you guys said yes. So here I am. Uh, well, I saw them two days apart. They, I saw Nate first. So it was a Tuesday and I had school. Um, but I get out, I got out 12.30 um, on Tuesdays. So I came home and I did my makeup and I did my hair and I put on my hooker clothes because I was ready to hop on that dick. I went out to the city and I got to the venue. Um, keep in mind, I went alone because I have no friends. I stood in line alone awkwardly for a couple minutes and then I started talking to the girls behind me and they were really really nice and I became friends with them um, I was kind of close up to the front of the line and at one point Nate and Derek came out and you know my ass sprinted to the front and they're so I saw Nate and I was like holy man bun I saw Derek and I opened Snapchat and I was like, take a picture with me and the camera was facing the other way. So he was like, oh man. And he started to walk away but I started a video and I was like, no way, no way. Oh yeah, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but after I saw Derek, I was like, I need an actual picture with this kid. So I bought the other VIP and then the wait after that wasn't that long. We went inside. And then right when it was about to be like my turn to see Nate, I decided I was like, <laughs> I want him to sign my boob. I went and got a Sharpie and I told my new friend, new, my new found friend, uh, I was like, can you take a video of him signing my boob? <laughs> and she was like, yeah, of course. I went up to him. 10 out of 10 would recommend. He's gorgeous. He's um he's really tall. And I'm really short. He's six foot, I'm 4'11. I was wearing high heels, but I still felt really so I took the video. I went up and hugged him. And I was like, can you sign my boob? And he was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> sweater that I am pretty sure he lost by now but I saw him wear it on snapchat and on Instagram picture and then later on I saw it in the fifth Skaterade episode I'm happy he got to wear it there's our picture I bought this little thing where um, we would get our picture printed out and then he would sign this little envelope thingy um, so I had to go back to his line, which I'm not complaining, I got to see him again, and so this is the little thing, he signed it, you know, to Andrea, then I went to Derek's line, and when it was finally my turn to meet him, he was dancing, <laughs> uh, so I just started dancing with him, and then the friend that was seeing our picture, Started taking a bunch of really cute pictures of us dancing. I really didn't know what pose I wanted to do with him, but he just put his arms around me and we just took a, like a smiling picture. Um, all the videos from that concert and the Jack and Jack one, I had on my old phone, which broke right after. So. I don't have those videos. I have one that I saved of Derek. <laughs> and Skate is a great performer. I had like the time of my life. He really like, he hypes up the crowd and you know, I, I don't know, it was wild. 
and then after the show everyone was just kind of hanging around you know chilling and I decided to go buy this hat this Derek hat and the skatery lighter and guess who was selling these things John Swift um, aka J Swaz I had my heels off so it was even more embarrassing but I was like hey can we take a picture you know I probably looked five to him but he was like yeah so then I went and I met Dylan and then um, I asked him for a picture and he looks <laughs> cracked out of his mind but that's okay because me too we took a little picture and he was in his little ozzy osbourne glasses then two days after it was time to see jack and jack and this time i went with a friend from school so i wasn't alone but she had just general admission and i had meet and greet and there were two separate lines so i had to stand alone again the wait was very long i got there pretty early but the wait was really long i remember it might be i'm pretty sure I got hemorrhoids. I had to sit on this building with like bird shit all over it and trash where I belong. But yeah, it was definitely worth the wait though because once I got into the building and I saw the little cover, and so I'd been waiting like two years for this. And the, just the closer I got, like I literally, I could hear Jack Johnson's voice and he has a really recognizable voice. So like I heard it and I, I literally felt my heart drop out of my ass. When it was finally my turn to meet them, oh my god, I can't even explain the feeling. Like I can't. I saw Jack Johnson and I was like, oh my god, you're precious. I hugged him so tightly and he's extremely skinny I, I thought i was like wait jack are you eating oh really are you eating no but he's so cute he was just like hey babe uh what's your name and i was like andrea i love you so much and he was like oh hi andrea um i love you too and then i see jack golinski I have no words. I hugged him like nothing else mattered at the moment. I just hugged him and I looked up at him and I clang onto him for my life. And I was like, I love you so much. And he was like, I love you too. And um, I was like, I'm Golinski Colt on Twitter. Do you remember me? And then he was like, yeah, that sounds familiar. I was like, you've tweeted me twice. And he was like, oh really? I'll tweet you again today. I never got that tweet but I don't care um, and then I took my picture with them and they were just amazing and that night was just great they're amazing performers as well as me and I finally got to meet them it wasn't my first time seeing them I had seen them every single time that they came around me I, I saw them when they were with Digitour and I remember waiting outside their bus for the longest time. I'm surprised I didn't get pneumonia and die. I had to wait um, in this creepy street 12 a.m. with my friends and I got barked at by a lady at the bus stop. And then the second time was I drove down to Fresno which is like three or four hours away to see them at the fair with that girl from Austin and Allie. Um, and I, me, no, me in the heat, no. It was really, really hot. So I was like, you know what? I'll just meet them next time, which I finally did. So that was like the most pleasing, amazing experience ever. Um, yeah, that, that was my experience with Nate and Jack and Jack. Um, so. Uh, you know, just don't ever give up on meeting your favorite person. It's honestly worth it. So I'll see you guys in whatever next video me and Kira put up. Um, I love you. This is Rice Bowl signing out.